Welcome to Momentum Monday. Today's April 9th, 2023. Happy Easter, happy Passover. Are we celebrating? Howard? Um, I like days off. I like when the market's closed. I would like yeah. the market to be open. Three day weekends be open. are great. I, I agree. Market should be open uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe. Yeah, we'll be back. I mean, four, they should test four days a week. I remember when it was... I mean, it really is kind of open seven days a week anyway. So four days a week for regular people would be great. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? I mean, consolidation for the most part uh, in tech stocks. I think lately we're, um, we're seeing a rotation into more defensive sectors. So names like healthcare and utilities and consumer staples outperformed in the past week or so as interest rates pulled back. Yeah, rates rates starting to pull back. So the market is probably pricing in an economic slowdown uh, in the second half of the year. At least this is what usually happens when those defensive sectors outperform. In the meantime, a lot of the high-flying momentum names uh, took a hit. You know, names like AI, I mean, and... SMCI, like a lot of the really high high momentum names. You've had like pretty decent pullback to so their uh, 50 day or 20 day moving yeah. averages over the past week. So we definitely saw that rotation into more defensive um, sectors, into more defensive names. Even the outperformance of the mega cap stocks like Microsoft and Apple and Google can also be interpreted as a defensive move I mean, Google had a notable relative strength on Friday. Uh, broke yeah, what out. we got on a uh, monthly? I'm long Google always, but you know that AI sell off. Um, on a monthly, is bullish too. This is on a yeah. weekly. On a weekly, it's, it's got back above its two hundred. Bullish yeah. on various time frames. Obviously, trying to catch up with Microsoft, which is the currently the the perceived leader in the space. Other yep. than NVIDIA. Yep. And um, um, as I said, yep. I think that outperformance in mega cap tech stocks is a defensive move. Yep. Just because they're not relatively lower beta names, they're not fast movers. I was saying the machine saved us, right? Like it was all about software. But, you know, if we don't have this AI kind of zero, there's this chart like it's the fastest adopted 100 million users ever. With no no spend, uh, Chat GPT four. Yeah. So, out of nowhere, you had something that kind of saved the tech bear market. It's not going to save everybody, as I wrote. It's going to save. You see that the companies bouncing the fastest: Nvidia, uh, Apple, Google, Microsoft, the comp- uh, AMD, probably some certain semis. Yeah, but, I mean, definitely uh, is, the, is the hottest trend right now. Anything related to AI. Uh, it's really what everyone is talking about and working well, on. Well, that's for a while. Eventually, now it'll be the real companies. You know, it's only been four or five months since we had this launch. So, kind of, kind of interesting how it kind of saved the Nasdaq. What's the S and P look like? The S and P is not looking that bad. It's still above its two hundred twenty fifty day moving average, just consolidating through time. Definitely looking better than maybe Europe is the only continent is, that is looking more constructively uh, consolidating yeah. near 52 week highs anything yeah. else like China is I mean it's it's still near its 200 day or Latin America and these are the ETFs that I'm uh, sharing these are all like big cap names they're not these are not small cap names and right. as you can see they're significantly underperforming despite the fact that the US dollar has had a uh, Pretty decent it's sold back, off, yeah. Uh, in the past few weeks and this year in general, um, so definitely S and P and the Q's holding better than most of the rest of the world, with the exception of Europe. Yeah, the the I was saying the four biggest French companies are fashion companies. You've got uh, you've got um, Ferrari at all time highs. Uh, uh, race, race is the ticker. So, so, so there is strength in these kind of uh, 
you got the the Mercs, the defensive healthcare stocks and some utilities, but then you have stocks that cater to the one percent and the aspirational nine. I call them doing very well as a two year back order for Ferraris. I don't, yeah, people are insane. Um, but uh, but you can't. Oh, this is the competitor to LVMH roll up. Yeah. Hmm. What's they're Samsung? Just, Interesting. We're just checking some more lower end stuff. And how's Nike holding in there? Nike is uh, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Little lemon yeah, pretty uh, reliant beats, on China, but beat you know, estimates yeah. had a big uh, gap up, kind of going sideways, which is constructively. Yeah. Obviously, during the past year and a half, expectations were lowered so much that it's really easy to beat them. Uh, so the next earnings season starts basically on Friday. Well, it's expensive stock still, like even with yeah, it's still thirty times earnings. I tell you what, man, there is just people willing to hold the 5% interest rate. People still willing to speculate on 2025 numbers. I mean, man, I don't know. I, uh, you need rates to really come back to make these things look interesting, but people want to speculate where the, the my two strongest ones are Axon. My friend who was running marketing got a promoted to COO, Josh Isner. I ran into him randomly. Company's still on fire with their own personal cloud. Uh, maybe AI helps them too. I don't know the crime with uh, their cloud and with their uh, cameras. Um, and then what else seems to, like I said, Merck, some boring you know, pharmaceuticals doing well. I mean, I have no edge there and why. Uh, but like you said, XLV is kind of the proxy. Yeah, Alibaba is an interesting one since they recently announced it. They're going to split into six different uh, companies and it, the market seems to be liking it. They're it will make be... it six times harder to analyze. Yeah, but it's working uh, valuation wise because the gap. To... Well, working relatively well. Look at the monthly. I know. On monthly, they haven't done great compared to. It's not working. Uh, so what are you swinging? What? So obviously, Baba. What, so what Baba, I'm thinking Google, Microsoft. These are the names that I, I'm in and I've been trading like mm -hmm. the, the big tech names. How's housing looking with rates kind of coming off here? It's holding really well, actually. I mean, some of them, not all. It pulled back last yeah. week yeah. Uh, because if there's recession, I mean, yes, interest rates are going to pull back, but, you know, there will be fewer transactions. Uh, yeah. But uh, companies like Redfin, I think, working on new bases, Zillow, not looking too bad. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of big bases. Banks are still looking super weak and near 50 Yeah, they were breaking price, down. Huh? 50 week lows. And as I was going to mention earlier, so earnings season starts on Friday with the big banks reporting. JPN, Bank of America, Wells Fargo City. Oh, that'll be interesting because XLF above 30 is what you, you you need to see it above 30. So that's kind of what I'm launching with JC. Um It's holding better than the regional it's banks. but you, so big, big So that's the big news this week. Yeah, banks on Friday, uh, I feel like they're going to beat expectations, uh, especially the big ones, since ex expectations are so low and they definitely attracted new customers in the past months or so. Good point. Uh, they don't want those customers, by the way, but yeah, they attracted a bunch. Uh, they don't want the small accounts. Uh, they don't want to pay interest. What do you mean they, they don't want the small accounts? Most of their clients are small accounts. <laughs> Yeah, I'm saying they don't want all these like uh, regional bank accounts because they don't want to pay any interest on them. They're non-profitable accounts. They want all the, uh, yeah. they want all the, you know, they they. That's why it's been going sideways. You need an economy that's doing well for the banks. It's kind of they go hand in hand. Um, but but the but the but the charts look heavy, man. Like so, you in know, financials sectors. roll over. I mean, well, I mean, listen, we're in no man's land. Tech still looks. The strongest this year it's had a good year but i don't have any edge here it's just one of those weeks well i think like you said yeah. Friday with earnings um anything else that looks interesting any uh, like any other sectors i mean that's about it from uh just from a purely practical uh viewpoint yep. uh rotation into defensive sector and just uh, yeah, you can't force make, it it's just make it's what's working it, 
you know, if the, all of them. Yeah. Yes. I mean, to... from when it was written off, there was some great give up October, November. And if you look back at the VIX and, and where people's uh, give ups were, been some great rallies off the low from Netflix to obviously Meta. Yeah. Um, no, Roblox kind Roblox of. Roblox kind of setting up. Still no, potentially. Still, still doesn't say they're going to have earnings Roblox, huh? Yeah. Printing. They're still losing money. Let's check out on SE pulled back to its 20 day, one of the earnings breakouts. Mm-hmm. Melly, let's see, also pulling back to its uh, yeah. 50 day. That's why last week, the vast majority of, of momentum names uh, were hit. So okay. defensive, defensive moves, definitely. Defensive moves. All right, everybody. Well, I mean, we're not going to beat a dead horse. I think we'll have a lot to go on next week. I'll be overseas, Ivan, so we'll, we'll do the show from, uh, I'll be in Italy. Okay. When do you head overseas? Uh, in, end of April. Okay, awesome. Well, so the next month will be uh, Momentum Monday from overseas. And maybe I'll have some European ideas. But it just feels like this economy is bifurcated. you got to have a lot of money. Um, so the brands that uh, people are spending at are, you know, the high-end brands. And then on the other end of the big institutional money is going in defensive defensive news that could all switch we'll see what banks are friday and we'll check in on sunday all right all right everybody have a good week